ladies and gentlemen, welcome to joining us. Uh, we're having a discussion with Teacher Leo based in Brazil. And today we're going to talk about uh, some language between Chinese and Portuguese. Say hello to everyone, Leo. Olá, todo mundo. Olá, todo Oi, mundo. Oi, pessoas. E aí, meus jovens paraoãs. You lost the mail, Nat. I'm sure your viewers will understand, but I, I know nothing about Portuguese. And that's the reason why we're doing this today. It's like a challenge. So, do you want to start with your words? My words, yeah, yeah just in advance. I don't know nothing about Chinese. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I think the idea was great. Like, we were discussing this in one of our conversations, and we do not know the words that both of us separated to each other. And this is the fun part. Feel free to join us and guess the meaning if you don't know Portuguese or Chinese, you know, that'd be funny, I think. I find it easy and you can relate that word okay. with uh, an English word and it's soul. Soul. Okay, I have two guesses. It's either salt, like the, the ingredients, or soul. Like your soulmates, that soul thing? Um, no. Um, it's related uh, to something that is considered a star, I guess. It's in the sky. In the sky? Sun? Is it a sun? Sun, oh, yes. God, it's it's a sun. Oh, okay, okay. So, my first one is super easy. So, it's ba si, ba si. Basi. Basi. Yeah, yeah. It's very good pronunciation. Yeah. Do you want a hint? Do you want a hint? Yeah, please. Let's think about this. If you're going to introduce yourself to Chinese people, what are you going to say? You know, the first couple of words. My name is. Yes, and. Worship. No, 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 no. And. Where are you from? Oh, Brazil? Yeah. Yeah, Basi. Oh, Basi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good pronunciation, by the way. So, Basi. There you go. Basi. Right, ah, Brazilian, Brazil. 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 Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, what's your words? This one is Gahafa. 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 Yes, good pronunciation. Gahafa. You know, this this remind me some of those um, Pixar or Disney film, a witch would carry like a crystal ball and say Gah. <laughs> something would just emerge. That's that's just how I felt. Because the way you emphasize it like a Gah is like when you say Hafa and this thing will emerge. So I no lo sé. I don't know. Oh gosh, that's Spanish. How to say you don't know in in, in Portuguese? You no see. You no see. I'm gonna say that so many times today. Um. um so, a hint. Yes, please. It's something uh, that you usually use to put water in it. Put water in it, like a cup, a jar. Almost like a jar. That's that's a bottle. Oh, a bottle! A bottle! <laughs> yes! It's my turn. Okay. This one should be very easy for Brazilians. Okay. B C N E. Picnic. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's pretty uh, close to the pronunciation. Bikini. I think maybe your girlfriend would guess that immediately almost. It's okay. It's a girl's thing. It's about a uh, uh, fashion item. It's about clothes. Fashion, fashion items. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm thinking about, about clothes. I'm thinking about um, a small thing that um, kids used to, like, where you teach them how to make pee in it. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> so it's a, it's a fashion item. It's a piece of clothing, but it's designed for the ladies, and it's imported from the Western world. So China used to not to have that. That's why we, we, we follow the word. And, and your girlfriend would guess that right off bat, I think. 
A G N I E I P E, right? Yes, you got it. You got it. Uh, you chose. I just, I, I need you one. Uh, Portuguese words are so tricky, and sometimes you can think that they are easy, but they are truly not. But I'm gonna go with this one. Um, viagem. 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 Okay. Viagem. Viagem. I can give you a hint that it's a, um, usually you do it together with friends uh -huh. and you go from one place to another. Return. No. You are in a car with with friends, okay. and then you rent a car to make this to one place. So you go with the friends to another place to visit something. Then you return. Yeah, so that's a, that's a trip. You make a a trip. I mean, yes, a trip. it's a trip. Uh, yeah, it's a trip. Okay. It's a trip. Okay. Oh, this one is um, pai dui. 派对, 派对. Still linked with pronunciation. This should be easy. 派对, 派对, 派对. Mm -hmm. It's an event. It's an event. And Brazilians are loving it. Besides carnival, uh, uh, um, New Year's, um, uh, Luau? No. At your home, it could be at the beach, it could be at anywhere. It's an event where a lot of people are gonna join. Ooh, a party! Yes, that's what your, that's what your neighbor are having right now. My, my, my turn now. Amizaj. Amizaj. It sounds like a food. Amisage. Amisage. It's a type of relationship oh gosh, between not... two people. Okay. But it's not a it's not a, a tricky relationship. It's um It's like It's friendship. a relationship. It's like friendship? Yeah, it's friendship. Oh. It's friendship. Uh teach your audience uh, a sentence saying you being a really good friend to me. Você, Você é um bom amigo. In Chinese, we say, 你是一个好朋友. Um, okay, this is also, a, it's a place. Okay, it's a place. 酒吧, 酒吧. I tailor-made all the words for your viewers or Brazilians. <laughs> I think they, they love these places. I guess. It's a pub, a bar. Yes! Yes, you got it! You got it. Yes, you got it. You got it. Oh, it's like, yeah. I was thinking like Chopa Bar. Yeah. Bar. It's in your vein. See? It's in your vein. It's that easy. Yeah. Especially to my my state because we have a bar at each corner of each street. Wow. So in Portuguese, Mineiro, nós vai churrasco onde nós está. It's an hour blood. The last one, that is the word that I told you, um, I think it only exists in Portuguese. Um, we don't have that word in a specific word to describe this in English. Uh, we need a sentence to describe a, a, a single word. Saudage. Saudage. So, so what's, what, what, what the, give me a hint, since it's so complicated. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Oh gosh. I'm gonna go with excited, sad, but you said there's no such word in English. Also, there is another word like crush. You have a crush on someone. Um, you are no. embarrassed. No, I don't think that is. You said it doesn't exist in English. How am I gonna explain that? Like, there's no way I can. You can try to, to uh, there is not uh, this word in English. But uh, we have a close one that tries to describe the same intensity. Um, it's 
for um, imagine I'm going to give you a situation so you're trying to imagine. Imagine you are at the airport um, leaving someone very important behind. Okay. And then when you get to your place, you, ta -na -na, this person. I will be extremely missing this person and feel extremely sad. Yes, it, it's like, it's not like you miss a person, it's a similar meaning, you know? But for us, saudade, it's a, a very intense uh, feeling of not having this person with you when you want them to be. So you don't miss them. You know, because missing does not mean that it's, it's a kind of sorrow mixed with uh, missing a person. But sometimes for us, this, this word can describe a good feeling. That's the problem. Because I can, um, I, for us sometimes, saudade can be good for the, the relationship. Because we usually people say that, ah, we are together all the time. I need to have saudade from you. <laughs> this makes the love grow fonder, you know? Uh, I think that can use to expand that, 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 that or that uh, saying. Yeah. yeah. Saudade for us is unique to our culture. Well, my last word is going to be very tricky because it also exists in Chinese. <laughs> I think... <we laughs> I think we we got that uh, in the sim, uh, similar page. That first, 春节, 春节, 春节. It's going to be very difficult. But you said that, that this one is tricky. Yeah. So I, I, I thought, like, right away, twins. Twins? No, no. It's not about, it's not about pronunciation. <laughs> Uh, we celebrate it in different times. Uh, the times or the period may vary, but some of the um, some of the countries in Asia, some of the Asian countries celebrate it. So you can, what you can do, it's going to be very tricky for you to come up with the words. That's true, but you can relate it to your festivals and to talk about carnival or the equivalent. You know. It's like what kind of festival? Uh, it's equivalent. Yeah, you can think about what kind of festival. To carnival. No, close. We're gonna have carnivals during that time. Uh, in Norway, not the Brazilian way. It's close to carnival. Yeah, but uh. it's not. You can now you can guess the nature of this uh, fiesta. <laughs> It's definitely a happy one. It's uh, something similar to Dia de los Muertos? No. Uh, it is very important. Yeah. See, it's very important. Otherwise, it won't, other Asian countries won't be celebrating it. Yeah. I know, Carnival. New Year's? Yes. <laughs> yes. But, uh, but it, 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 it's a spring festival, so it's the equivalent of Christmas. Uh, so, you know, uh, obviously New Year are kind of important for Western people in general, but they value Christmas more, right? So, and for us, it's the same. We celebrate a little um, for the New Year, but right now, entering into our Chunjie period. <laughs> so, the word is spring festival. With that being said, I think uh, we have a successful discussion about our words and uh, I don't know if any of the viewers get that right. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and if you do, please let us know and maybe we can brainstorm some other words and to think about that together. So. Or sentences. Oh my god, the sentences? I don't know about that. That's, that's so tricky. Never gonna get that right. Yeah, no, I can't. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining us, Leo. And say how to say goodbye in Portuguese. Uh, there are a number of ways, but the most common one is to say ciao. Ah, ciao. That's an easy one. So 
in Chinese, the easiest one just say bye bye. So it's like bye bye. Yeah. Huh. So bye bye, and uh, we will see you next time. Ciao. See you next time.